Hey everyone. Absolute value functions from our 1.6 category. We're talking about number 56. This was a tough one. This tough one because it says use technology. It says use graphing utility. And for me, that's Desmos. Go there automatically. You could use something like uh, TI Inspire, TI-84, other instruments. Um, Wolfram Alpha might be a good place to go. But with your Desmos, you're able to see some real-time shifting until we include billions. So the issue here being that uh, four times 10 to the ninth power of the absolute value of X minus five times 10 to the ninth power, that's five billion, subtracted by two times 10 to the ninth power, yeah, it's not gonna be um, very easily graphed. We've almost exceeded or definitely do exceed like the decimal expansion that Desmos is able to handle. You know, it's a machine, it's, it's, a, it's a computer, a calculator, a, a machine. It has a limit to what it can do. It's definitely a V absolute value function, but the question is, can you trick it? Can you make it represent the graph in a way that makes meaning? Oh, and by the way, you should be including these graphs on your homework assignments, right? You should be able to upload either a picture or the link or something to your assignment. So notice that the little share icon with the arrow is helpful for you to um, see how you need to um, uh, upload or get information that you can upload. Let's trick Desmos though, right? Desmos didn't handle the billions decimals very well. It either made like a vertical line or something was off. So in, in actuality, I'm gonna try, check out the wrench. I'm gonna try to uh, remove the billions and just get a picture of what this might look like. And then in any sort of conversation that I have later on about it, I'm gonna see if I can't like, you know, talk about the minimum as being five billion and two billion, even though it'll look like just regular old five and two, you know, the ordered pair. See what I mean right there on the graph? Um, those are really billions, five billion comma two billion, but we don't have to put the, the billions expander on it. It's kind of like tricking Desmos. You would have to explain it in your answer, but that would be sufficient for the job. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one.